Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for Android App Arena is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is Android App Arena, episode 106 for Wednesday, July 13th, 2016. Hodgepodge. This episode of Android App Arena is brought to you by the Ring Video Doorbell. With Ring, you can see and talk to anyone at your door from anywhere in the world using your smartphone. It's like caller ID for your home. Go to ring.com slash arena and get $50 off one of their Ring of Security kits, the Bundle Kit or Pro Bundle Kit with their limited time offer. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Android App Arena. I'm your host, Jason Howell. What a crazy week. This game called Pokemon Go released, and everyone went flipping nuts. So I'll get into that game, at least tangentially, a little bit later. But right off the top, I'll admit I had a hard time picking a theme this week. So I decided to keep it freewheeling because a random collection of apps caught my eye and... Why not change things up a bit from time to time? It's been a while since our last hodgepodge of apps, so let's get to it in this week's roundup. URL shortening, yeah, yeah, yawn. But the big one in the room, at least as far as I'm concerned, is bit.ly, bit.ly. And they finally released an official Android app, so let's take a quick look. Everything is designed very nicely. I'd say pretty clean. Their approach is very clean here. Here's a look at all of my BitLinks from the past. Yes, pretty much all of them tied to All About Android's Arena voting. Every entry can be tapped to pull up more metrics. That's one of the beauties of Bitly, I think. Uh, you can see how that short link has performed over time, how many times that link has been clicked. And beyond that, the regions that those clicks were tracked to. Obviously, we get a lot of traction here in the U.S. The fab acts as the share button if you need to put that bit.ly link to more use. There's the top 10 list here. That goes back one month to track the links that performed best over that month. And the fab on the main page fires off a new shortened link. I simply paste the long URL in here, and then that shortened link is made. Now I can go in and edit it even further. I can give it a title as requested and then maybe give the shortened URL an actual easy to remember name as opposed to the random characters offered by default. Honestly, that's really about it. Bitly is a fantastic URL shortener and one that I use weekly, so I'm happy to have a nicely designed app for its purposes. Find bit.ly or bit.ly in the Play Store for free. Since my wife and I brought two kids into this world, I've realized a new type of challenge in my life. No, it doesn't involve diapers or sleep training, though those were really challenging. I am a film buff, and I look forward to the days that I can throw any old film from my childhood at my kids and have it be perfectly age appropriate. But honestly, I never really know, or at least I can't remember all the details that might make it not the perfect fit for a three or a six year old. So I rely on an app called Common Sense Media. And they recently redesigned what was so beyond necessary. Now it's a dream to use. Common Sense Media is a service that tracks media content for age appropriateness. Within the app, you can check out all the latest movies, including those currently in theaters, as well as those on home release and those upcoming. The editors at Common Sense Media have viewed all films and given it an age rating that they feel represents the minimum starting point for that film. I found that it's maybe a bit conservative for my kids, but way better than not knowing. It's an excellent starting point. Scrolling down, there's a breakout of different elements within the films that might give parents some concerns. Ratings around things like educational value, language, consumerism, violence, the sexy stuff, and more. And in the What Parents Need to Know section, a small paragraph highlighting the most important segments of the film that might make a parent say, no way, or eh, that's okay for my kid. Users also offer their age ratings and reviews for added depth. And that's just the movies. Common Sense Media also looks at TV shows, apps, books, 
websites, and video games, each covered exhaustively. Everything is searchable and sortable by age range, and they include an insane number of best of lists that I found make my movie nights way easier to manage. Common Sense Media is essential for parents, in my opinion. Find it free in the Play Store. Music collectors, your day has come. If you just don't understand all this online digital streaming mumbo jumbo and prefer to own your music in a physical sense, then you might enjoy the app called Discogs. And it finally got a release for Android this Tuesday. Discogs has been around for 15 years now as an online source for tracking physical media, and it's perfect for collectors. It's kind of like Wikipedia, but for music releases. I'll go ahead and tap the search button and plug in someone, let's say Radiohead. I'm given the artists, which I'll go ahead and tap into Radiohead. And up top is a nice little carousel of images of the band. Yep, that's the Radiohead I know. You get a nice blurb of their history, and below that, links to various parts of Radiohead's discography. This is where Discogs really comes to life. First, there's their official releases, where you're going to find their albums, their EPs, their singles, things like that. Then there are artist appearances. These are things like soundtracks, compilation albums, all that type of stuff. You'll also find unofficial releases, sometimes referred to people in the know as <clears throat> bootlegs. And finally, artist credits for other projects that they've lent their abilities to in various ways. Now, any release can be tapped into for all the minutia related to it, including however many different versions of that particular release have been published over time and what makes them different from the rest. If you own one, you can add it to your collection to track your prized possessions. There's also a barcode scanner built in that makes cataloging your collection even easier. Discogs was an instrumental tool to me in my DJ years, but it's perfect for anyone who likes to geek out on the music industry and just kind of get lost in it all. Find Discogs in the Play Store for free. So Common Sense Media was such a bad app before the refresh that I showed off today. So I'm super happy that they finally got around to making it usable. Uh, I find it an invaluable source and hopefully it works for you as well. All right, before we move on, let's thank the sponsor of today's episode. And that is the Ring Video Doorbell. There's a home burglary every 13 seconds. Most burglaries happen in broad daylight. Burglars will ring your doorbell just to kind of make sure that you're away before they then break in. Ring Video Doorbell has been proven to stop burglaries before they happen. And they allow you to see and speak to anyone approaching your door using your smartphone. Now, Ring is using their advanced motion detection technology to protect your entire property with their Ring of Security Bundle Kit or Pro Bundle Kit. Both kits include a Ring Video Doorbell, a stick-up cam, chime, and solar panel. The Pro Bundle includes a slim video doorbell pro with crystal clear 1080p HD video and night vision. It's hardwired, so it never needs to charge. The wireless and weatherproof HD stick-up cam keeps an eye on other parts of your property and allows you to hear and speak to visitors with two-way talk. And with their optional cloud video recording, you can easily capture and share video with family, friends, or, if you need to, law enforcement. Plug the chime into any standard power outlet to know when you have a visitor, even if your phone is in the other room. The Ring Video Doorbell and Stick Up Cam install in just minutes. I did it literally. It took me like five minutes to install the doorbell. Working together, they provide 24-7 monitoring of your entire home, whether you're in the living room or thousands of miles away. I've used this when I go away on vacation. I set motion detection to on, and that way, anytime motion is detected at my front door, even though I'm not home or even in the same town, I can check back and just make sure that everything's good. It's peace of mind. Join the hundreds of thousands who protect their home with Ring. For a limited time, Android App Arena listeners can save $50 off one of their Ring of Security kits, the Bundle Kit or Pro Bundle Kit. Go to ring.com slash arena, and there you can take advantage of the lowest price anywhere. That's ring.com slash arena. Okay, the week has been owned by Pokemon Go. But I'm not covering that game this week. Sorry to pull the switcheroo on you. To be honest, I lack history with Pokemon, and I felt it would be somewhat disingenuous to review the game without giving it a nice long stretch with which to play. So, instead, I'm challenging myself to take Pokemon Go on my vacation with me next week to see what I can catch in Idaho. 
Then when I return in a few weeks, I'll write up my review and uh, do it on a future episode. But who knows? Maybe I'll find some super secret and hard to find Pokemon and you'll all be jealous of me. But then again, maybe not. Now, as for this week's big app, I found something that's going to help me, at least I hope, get up to speed on all the lingo of the game. Maybe it'll help you too. Now, if you're like me, then all of this Pokemon lingo is completely lost on you, and I swear people start talking about Pokemon around me, I instantly feel old. I have no idea what it means when you say that you were trying to take a gym, but you're out of revives and your Electro Bus has fainted. I don't know. Hopefully in a few weeks, after playing Pokemon Go on vacation, I will, but right now, it makes my head spin. Dexter is an app that might help make me at least a bit more educated in the ways of Pokemon. Dexter is a lightweight Pokedex cataloging every Pokemon out there with quick integrated search. Tapping any Pokemon pulls up their background and their attributes. The ability Dex details every ability available and there's also a little small description there of what that entails. The move Dex shows all moves that are possible by various different Pokemon and again, the many attributes that influence their effectiveness. The caught Dex is where players can catalog the various Pokemon they've caught over time. That right there might be handy to a noob like me who's never had much interaction with Pokemon before, and no doubt I'll use the app way differently than those of you who truly know what you are doing. This might be my Wikipedia for Pokemon on my vacation. We'll just have to wait and see. Who knows? Maybe I'll come back a Pokemaster. Ha! Yeah, right. Dexter is free in the Play Store. Now, for the record, Pokemon Go doesn't work with the developer preview of Android N, now known as Nougat. As such, even though I just switched back to my Nexus 6P from the OnePlus 3 that I've been using the past three weeks, it was kind of like I was moving back home, uh, yet again, I'm moving my sim back over for my vacation to the OnePlus 3 as I have already done, so I can actually play Pokemon Go while I'm, you know, going places. That's how dedicated I am to you and apparently to Pokemon. Send me your favorite apps and categories to arena at twit.tv or you can post those to the subreddit, androidapparena.reddit.com. The show plays live every Wednesday around 5 p.m. Pacific following tech news today at twit.tv slash live and new episodes always appear later that evening in the feeds and on the show page at twit.tv slash arena. All right, that's it, folks. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Jason Howell and I'll see you next week in the arena.